Kenya Kwanza want to treat beauty as a luxury. Beauty products such as wigs, false beards, eyelashes, human hair, artificial nails, among others, will see their taxes rise from shillings 0 0.6 to shillings 25 per stamp, 2.5 per stamp. This is a 316% hike. Like digital economy, the beauty industry has become a major employer, particularly of our youth and women who have been unable to find work elsewhere. This is a home to hustlers. Now Kenya Kwanza is going after their earnings. We disagree. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenyans cannot be taxed to the bone just because of Kenya Kwanza's internal weaknesses. Rather than increase taxes, the regime must undertake an immediate stoppage of non-essential government expenditures, including the appointment of chief administrative officers. Two, reduction in size of government, excess cabinet secretaries, principal secretaries, directorates, advisors, aides, departments, and cuts are gobbling up finances for the, no, for the no good value for money. Three, abolish money being spent on political operations that are dis disguised as relief food distribution or fundraisers. It makes no sense at all for a Kenya Kwanzaa operative to spend 20 million shillings on a chopper to distribute one million worth of food. It makes no sense for a principal secretary to spend 10 million shillings on a chopper to deliver 200,000 shillings at a fundraiser. <laughs> this madness must stop in the interest of austerity. <laughs>